And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. All right, just saw the movie Coraline, and honestly, or Caroline, I don't know. It, it don't it don't matter. Um, so this is a prime example as to why I don't like stop motion, why I don't care for claymation, why I don't. Okay, because claymation, stop motion is normally humans creating a world, animating it step by step via through pictures, which technically motion pictures are. Everything's done through the multiple frames taken all at once, but they just individually move each frame. And it's normally, like, it starts out with something creating a doll. And normally when you do stop motion, it's dolls that are being animated. So it literally, to me, in my mind, I'm like, it's basically a, a human body being gutted for that world because that's what they are. They're puppets. They're puppets being torn apart and put together. It, it, it's always bothered me because I view it as that's that world. These are all puppets. These are puppets moving like humans. But then in the very beginning, that's a prime example of why it disturbs me because the puppet is being gutted. The puppet is being stuffed with sand instead of cotton. The puppet is disturbing. Absolutely disturbing to me. But the the movie, I guess, is well done. Um, basically, it's a, a Cor Coraline is a, a girl who isn't happy where she's at. She's unhappy with her parents. And then she's shown a world where her mother and father are everything she ever dreamed of. They offer her everything she ever wanted, but everything just starts, it's, it's too good to be true. Like it's one of those things where it just seems uncomfortable. Like the first, in, in the feeling you have where it's just so wrong, well, other than the fact that it's stop motion, is YB. The, the YB in the other world is completely mute. He isn't allowed to speak. So already it's just like, this is very disturbing. This is very, ugh. But uh, what I'm really wondering is who, where, what are the other souls? Well, her, her other father, why, why is he conscious? Why is he aware? Why be, why is he conscious? Why is he aware? The, all the other characters, why are they conscious and aware? And why are they willing to help her? What was their past? Are those the souls of the children? Is that what it is? They're each one is the soul of a child, which is why there was, well, technically there was the, there was the, the upstairs neighbor, there was the two sisters who lived underneath, and then the parents, so, and YB, so that, uh, not each child. Now, it would make sense if every time she harvests a child, she would have one more spirit, one more soul to manipulate the world. I would prefer that. I think that would be, it would make more sense at that point in time, but right here, it's just like there are characters who speak, talk, live, uh, but are afraid of the mother. They're afraid of her. Yeah, but it's basically an Alice in Wonderland story. That's basically the best way I can... Because <laughs> it, 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 it made me uncomfortable. It really made me uncomfortable. It wasn't like Kubo. It was really just... Stop motion has always been that for me, where I watch it, I'm like... <sighs> Why, why are these dolls ripping apart dolls? Why are these dolls creating puppets? Why, it just doesn't seem right. These things are puppets. I get, my mind just can't wrap around it. The, the fact that, the, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't see them as, like in animation, I can imagine them as real creatures, but you don't see in animation them tearing apart other animations. No, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to explain my uncomfortable mindset towards it. I, I do respect the art form, absolutely, because it does take time. It does take effort. Heck, for me, for a 20-second video, it took me an entire day. So it the, the talent and the shots and the moving of the camera and just all the planning that goes into it, massive respect. But it's funny how every time there's a stop motion, they're primarily dark. They're not meant for kids, yet they're rated for children. It just doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, uh, Carol, Caroline, Coraline, it, whatever it is, Coraline, I think. Yeah, it, great movie, but oh my gosh, the animation. I just can't wrap my mind around that. It just, or they're always dark. Stop motion is always dark, like without fail. Thank you.
Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.